Hello and welcome to Funk. Today is Monday, November 16th, and I'm Eric. And I'm Annalise. In today's news, the United States is sitting at more than 150,000 new coronavirus cases per day. California has become the second state, after Texas, to have a total of more than 1 million cases. NIH official Dr. Anthony Fauci continues to warn Americans that we must work together, distance, and wear masks to get the pandemic under control. The weather for today will be sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 39. Are you interested in making living at Furman even better? Apply to be a member of RLC, Furman's Residential Life Council, on SyncedIn, or by checking out the FURLC Instagram account. You can make sure your voice is heard and your ideas are implemented to improve residential life on campus. The Trone Student Center is hiring. They're looking for students to serve as information desk workers for the spring semester. Priority will be given to applications received by November 20th, and you can apply at studentjobs.furman.edu, and you can email trone at furman.edu with any questions you might have. Exam season might not be on Furman's campus this year, but that doesn't mean there aren't resources at your disposal to help you study. If you seem like you're struggling with your courses, the Center for Academic Success is here to help. The center gives free basic tutoring to students for every topic and is available for help at almost any time. If you're considering help and would like to know more, go to www.ferman.edu slash CAS. Sign up on SyncedIn for the Office of Student Involvement and Inclusion's Build a Study Buddy event this week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Students must sign up ahead of time in order to participate. Participants will then receive additional information the week of the event. Supplies are limited, though, so don't wait. Applications to be on Housing and Residence Life staff are now open. You can find the application on your My Firm and Housing portal. This is a great opportunity to get involved, make an impact on others, and gain some valuable experiences during your time at Furman. The application only takes a few minutes and is really simple. Applications are open until midnight on January 31st, and interviews will start soon after. Stop by the Milford Mall on Wednesday to check out the latest installment of FUSAB's Wednesdays on the Mall. This semester-long program has featured different entertainers, food, and giveaways. You don't want to miss the last Wednesday surprise of the semester, so look for the purple FUSAB tent next to Furman Hall. Furman Basketball has announced that, in keeping with Furman's COVID response steering community and committee and state guidelines, a small number of students may be allowed to attend home basketball games in the spring. During the first phase of competition, the stadium will have a maximum occupancy of 50 students. For information about how to attend a game in person or how to have a fan cut out of your face in the stands, visit the Furman Athletics website. Well, that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.canstopdefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a great International Button Day, and tune in again on Wednesday for our next episode.